it's yours for the asking. Just be sure when you ask for it that you really want it. As we continue in James chapter 1, having learned that if we want wisdom, particularly wisdom to learn how to deal with trials and tribulations that we go through, the author James continues saying, after he reminds us if we lack wisdom to ask of God, because he gives liberally to everyone, but, verse 6 of chapter 1, let him ask in faith with no doubting, and it will be given to him. And he continues to say, he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. You see, when we face tribulations and trials and we ask for wisdom, and again, I think wisdom used in this verse can apply to more than just that specific situation in a broader sense we also receive wisdom from God and he gives that liberally to those who ask for it but as we think about receiving wisdom from God we've got to ask and the contrast here is between asking in faith or doubting about what we ask and really both of those interestingly enough, are a belief system. One's a positive belief system, one's a negative belief system, because the man who asks in faith and believes that God is going to answer him in the affirmative, that's a man who has a positive belief system in God. He has faith in God. The opposite of that is doubt, because this man asks, but he doubts, and he believes his doubt. And the text goes on to say, let not that man think he will receive anything from the Lord. The reason he won't receive it is because he's already made up his mind before he asked, really, or even as he was asking, he wasn't going to get it. He wasn't going to receive it. He already believes that God isn't going to bless him. So which belief system do you practice? The belief of doubt or the belief of faith?